What's up, everybody? It's your boy OG Kitch with another edition of Kitchen Everything. And tonight, I got a treat for you. Who invented the term use? I got a treat for use. <laughs> All right. Earlier, I cooked the uh, sweet potato cheese grits. So, um,. Put them in the refrigerator. We want them to get stiff for what I'm actually doing. And then we're going to cut it. So now we're going to slice it. Cut it. Just went viral. All right, so now I'm gonna get these. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do to them, and then I'm gonna come back when um, I get to like the last few so you can see what I'm doing. So be back in a second. Remember, Chef Life Movement forever. For All right, y'all. I just want to get these done and then show you what I did with the last one. Flour, egg wash, panko flour. Yo, this shit is the truth. I, yeah, I, I do everything panko flour. Keep it nice, crisp. So what you want to do is on your grits, your grit cake. Get a nice little coating of flour. Dry hand dry, wet hand wet. Get it all around on all sides. You want to go go to that 510 eatery get that dog meat <laughs> I know uh, all right and that's what they look like when well, we're done with them Stay humble. It's down. You can make these ahead of time, put them in the refrigerator, let it sit, get together, whatever, whatever, but I ain't doing all that. But I am going to do that because I'm going to clean this up. So I'm going to put these in the fridge, clean all this up, be back in a second, show you how we're going to put it together. Boom, bam, deuces. All right, y'all, so here we go. Got the grit, sweet potato grit cakes with the, the cream, the water, sweet potato. What else? I put in there Pecorino Romano cheese, coated it, breaded it with the panko flour. We got heavy whipping cream. We have the uh, chipotle garlic sauce. We have lobster claw and knuckle meat, tomatoes, green onions, parsley. This is how we about to do it, y'all. About to do it, y'all. The sauce. I understand that the the grits is already cooked, so we don't need a lot going on with that. y'all we are now about to deep fry them none of the 
this is going to take long, so I want to wait till the cream start to simmer. And I'll be waiting for that to happen. up our sauce I did a video on this this is the sauce I made the other day see how I separate it no problem now with this sauce this garlic chipotle so how much you put in there, it all depends on you. The more you put, the spicier it is. So if you like a little kick, knock yourself out. So I'm gonna let all the day, once the, uh, cream start to simmer which is about to be done in a minute I can tell we'll be right back so we just don't have all of this just standing around twiddling our thumbs talking about that 510 I don't know so oh before I do go I'll be shouting everybody out and today I actually talked to her today um in hangouts but I'll be forgetting to say shout out to boss lady keep that sugar right you know what I mean? You know we care about you. We just want you to be straight and your health. So shout out to Boss Lady. Oh, it look like I don't have to come back. Because we're about to be here. Down. Thicken up a little bit. I need a little bit more color. Don't let that happen. Ooh, pick it up and let it come back down. And then pick it up again before it go all black. Just gonna have a little bit of a kick to it because I put quite a bit of that in there. Uh, now that the sauce is getting there, we're gonna drop the grit cake. And let that get all golden and brown and all that. Like if it was that dark meat. Kawabonga. Mahalo. Yeah. As you can see, it's starting to picking up, which is great. So now that it's starting to thicken up, we want the crab to get that flavor. I mean, my bad, not the crab, the lobster. Get that flavor in there. Soak all of that up. Ooh. That's that good right there. And let that just, you don't really have to do much. It's pretty much just heating up the crab. The lobster, my bad. I keep saying crab, y'all. It's that lobster. That lobster. That lobster. Right. 
little parsley. Got the head of pars. Got the head of parsley. Tomato. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Nope, that ain't no damn fish cakes. Fish, all right, us. <laughs> the Gordon, the Gordon Fisherman. All right, so now we just let that cook down. And while that's cooking down, let that reduce. Let that lobster soak all of that up. Ooh, ooh, look at that golden brown. It's that golden brown. When you love what you do, it's not a job. And I love what I do. Cause I do it so well. I'm a cocky son of a gun. Yes, I'm yours. Clean cuts. I had a clean cut. Gotta have a sharp knife. Ass grits. <laughs> yeah, I get excited. You know, this is fucking food porn. And I'm the king of food porn. A foodgasm. Like I say, you might not want to slap your mama. You don't want to slap somebody. Nice clean cuts. Plate it up. 
We got to play it up. We haven't finished yet. We haven't finished yet. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Something like a G. Something like a G out here. Y'all know how I feel about stuff around the plate. I don't like that. Unless it's garnish. Ladies and gentlemen, sweet potato grits and lobster. It just be like that with a chipotle garlic sauce. <sighs> Love y'all. But I'm about to go eat. Catch y'all on the flip side. Chef life movement forever. It will never die. Zenobia's baby cake. Infinity. Deuces.